If you've ever tried one of those low calorie diets and didn't get the results that you're looking for, there are three main reasons that I'm gonna cover inside today's episode on why they don't work and what you can do instead. This is Gabe with GainsWithGabe.com and welcome to another episode of the Gains with Gabe podcast. And today we're gonna to be breaking down why low calorie diets don't work and what you can do instead so you can actually get the results that you're looking for. Now, the first and most important reason why low calorie diets do not work is because they are not sustainable long term. They are just incredibly difficult to stick to. And even if you do, there are some things we could talk about later on on why they still may not get you the results that you want. So The biggest thing is not sustainable long-term. For example, there's a lot of people that I've worked with in the past that have not been able to get good results with dieting. They've told me what their diets are and a lot of the times it ends up being a very stereotypical diet where they're eating like eggs and oats for breakfast, a salad for lunch, and chicken, rice, and broccoli for dinner. And there's nothing wrong with those food choices, nothing wrong whatsoever. But even a healthy portion of each of those foods altogether, maybe around 1,200 to 1,800 calories, depending upon how much you feel like eating of those meals. And that can vary based on like the dressing you use as the salad. It could vary based on how many eggs you have, how many oats you have, what type of oats. Is it the plain oats or like the flavored oats? It could matter on like chicken breast, could be chicken thighs, could be like different kinds of other sauces that you add on there. It can vary a lot. So it could be like a thousand calories or 2000, who knows, right? So that's a big thing to consider with these kinds of diets is if you're not eating enough, it's very, very hard to stick to. So if you're gonna go ahead and eat that every day, most people can do that for like a week, maybe two weeks, but when it comes to like three, four or five weeks, it's like mind numbingly boring. It's like, I'm done with this. There's no more, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go to eat McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts and get an entire dozen donuts and a couple Big Macs and I'm just gonna enjoy myself for the first time, what feels like forever. But the crazy part is when these binge sessions happen, it's only been like a couple weeks on the diet. So that's not a good thing. And I'm not saying this happens to everyone. There are a lot of people with that iron mentality that can stick with it and that's not, I mean, those types of people are probably not gonna be sitting here watching this video. And it's a very rare case that those people are even real. It, it is real, I've seen it firsthand. But my point is, these really, really strict low calorie diets are not sustainable. So from there, one other problem that you have with the diets is the second problem, which is a lot of the times these low calorie diets cause people to gain their weight back very, very quickly too because of mainly those binge sessions or they start eating foods that they weren't supposed to eat on the diet and eating a lot of them because the self-control just kind of goes out the window and they end up either gaining all the weight back or even more weight back and it's just not a good time because of that mental restriction that's so aggressive that is very hard to stick with it's easy to fall in the trap of like buying an entire pack of Oreos and crushing those or buying a half gallon of ice cream and crushing that in one night and then then you're like, oh, well, the diet's done, right? Like I, I messed up once, so the diet's over. And then they just keep eating and eating and eating and gaining all that weight back and sometimes gaining more. And it's just not a good cycle to be in. So you, then you're like, oh, wow, crap, I gained all the weight back. Now I have to go back on a diet. And the only diet that I know is the very restrictive low calorie diet, very simple, very straightforward, like eat these foods, lose the weight, right? But then it starts again. Do that for a couple more weeks, maybe even a month this time because you've already done it before. And then you eat a bunch of food again, gain the weight back again, maybe even a little bit more. Or maybe you gain a little bit less because maybe you're building a little bit of dieting skill. Who knows? It's really hard to say. So that's one of the other problems. And the final problem with these low calorie diets is it creates the wrong mentality around food in general. It's not like you have to suffer to lose weight and then you can enjoy yourself with all the good kinds of foods. It's not like you can only eat chicken, eggs, oats, broccoli, and salad to lose weight. It's not that you can't eat those quote unquote bad foods and still stay on track. It's it's a tough thing to balance with a lot of people because they think of foods as good or bad. And yes, there are absolutely some foods that are better for you than other foods. That is not up for debate whatsoever. Obviously eating like ground beef and onions and rice with 
a salad on the side is probably healthier for you than going to McDonald's and getting something similar in burger format, mainly because of how it's cooked and the quality of the meat and what's in the buns versus what's in the rice, which there's like arsenic in almost all rice, so maybe that's not good either. But anyways, that's not the point here. The point is, obviously you can make healthier choices, but that doesn't mean you can't have good tasting food too. So you have to create this mentality around dieting where you can have a little bit of balance. Maybe you can have some ice cream, but instead of having a half gallon, maybe you take a food scale and weigh out one or two servings. So it's maybe like 160 or 320 calories. That's something you can easily fit in a diet as long as you go ahead and eat a lot of healthy foods around that. You can have a couple slices of pizza for 600 calories and then fit that into a diet. Maybe not the best choice, but if you're craving it, and you still want to reach your, your goals in terms of fitness results, you can absolutely make it work. Obviously, you don't want to go off the walls with this. You're like, oh, well, I'm going to fit some ice cream here, fit some pizza here, fit some Sour Patch Kids here, fit some Oreos here, and call it a day. Obviously, you want to hit enough protein. You want to hit enough micronutrients. You want to have things like blueberries and, and salads and, and like broccoli and all these other things that are nutrient rich, like potatoes with the skin, by the way. The skin is practically a gold mine of nutrients, onions garlic, all these good things in combination with your diet. Greek yogurt, oats, of course, all these things are very, very good for you, but you can fit them in with the bigger picture of a realistic diet that people can stick to long term, that you're not going to build up such a strong craving for things that you're going to go ahead and binge on these junk foods and lose all that progress. So that's my whole point on this. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully you have found it insightful. And if you can build that right mind mentality around food and dieting, you can absolutely achieve the results that you want and then actually enjoy the process as well. And if you wanna learn more about how to do this, the step-by-step -step process on how you can transform your body in the next 90 days, I highly recommend you go to gainswithgabe.com. It's the link in the description box below. It says, start your fitness journey. Click that link, go over to my website and subscribe to my newsletter. You get free weekly tips on my email list, as well as a free guide to fat loss. I call it the ultimate guide to fat loss because it's what worked for me in the very beginning when I first started out with zero experience, I was able to lose 30 pounds in eight months while still enjoying foods that I like and without living in the gym, maybe two to three workouts a week. And then you can also see like the breakdowns, food suggestions, how to put it all together, all completely for free. Link in the description, gainswithgabe.com. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.